Hello everyone. Uh, today we went to Jersey Mike's. If you're not familiar with Jersey Mike's, it is a um, sub place. It is a bit like uh, Subway, except I prefer it usually to Subway. This was going to be a comparison video, but I didn't uh, feel like going to another place. And also these subs are kind of expensive. And it's not really, the price of course is um, beneficial if you get the larger size, you know, if you get the small size, which would be what I would do if I uh, compared it, um, then it wouldn't be as cost efficient, price efficient. So anyway, we got a giant number nine. The number nine is the Club Supreme. Um, so it has uh, turkey, um, Swiss cheese, uh, bacon, applewood smoked bacon. It's, it's bacon all the same. Um, roast beef. Uh, I got it on a wheat, wheat bun, wheat bread, wheat, yeah. And, um, yeah. And then lettuce, tomatoes, onion, and then, uh, like I was telling you, I got it Mike's Way with their sauce. So, and I also got a large, uh, fountain drink soda. So, there's that. And I got, um, they have, like, their two little, uh, brands of, like, you know, real soda. Um, and I got the, uh, the vanilla cream soda, uh, a gave, a gave, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got the vanilla cream soda. Um, and I probably should have, like, gotten the, um, root beer, uh, the classic root beer. Because I'm a bit more in the mood for root beer right now. But anyway, uh, it's, it's definitely cream soda, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and, yeah, vanilla cream soda. Pretty good, pretty good, but I probably should have gotten the, um, the root beer right now, <laughs> but hey. It is what it is. So, oh yeah, and I'll tell you, I said it was expensive. Uh, it's $15.75 for the sub and then $2.39 for the large drink. <laughs> so that brings us to $18 without tax. Okay, so let me see what I can show you here. Hopefully not drop it all. So that's what we're looking like. Um, pretty good. Uh, usually it even uh, looks a bit more moist with all the vinegar in there. They did put it in there. I, I mean, I watched them make it, of course. That's what they do there. They do make it in front of you. I mean, some places in, in general. Uh, you probably can't hear me well because I'm, like, messing with the, the loud paper. But, uh, yeah, we'll try, uh, try and show you a bit more what it's looking at. The wheat stuff is falling off the bun here. Hopefully I get a good thumbnail out of that. Um, I'll try and let you uh, get a good look of everything we got in there. So yeah, we got turkey and roast beef, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, bacon. I asked for no mayo, no mayonnaise. I'm not a huge fan of mayo. Um, and, and they got so much flavor and stuff on there anyway. Um, and Swiss cheese and a wheat bun. So. That's enough of that. We're gonna try and bite of this. And uh, this first bite is gonna be nice. It's got not too much of the roast beef in there, but it's got everything else, so. Um, the bacon adds a nice bit of crunch to it because everything else kind of lacks it. Um, it's really hard to pick out like one specific flavor. Um, the vinegar definitely pops out because that's what they do. They do. Um, there's a bit of lettuce on here, honestly. Uh, I watched the guy make it. He put a lot of lettuce in there. I didn't complain. I didn't say take anything off because um, I don't mind, but I think that's a bit, let a bit a lot of lettuce for usual.
gonna try and show you. Um, but then I just took a bite out of it. But that was like, I was seeing all the lettuce from that last bite. That's really what made me uh, think of it. Um, yeah, the bacon's kind of, uh, it was strips. This is crumbles. I'll try and show you the bacon by itself here and try a taste of that. So there's not too much of the smoky flavor it, of it, but definitely is like, you know, not super fatty or anything. It's pretty good bacon. Um, no smoky taste at all though. And I mean, I got to lick a little bit of vinegar still because of course the sauce is in there, but I was able to taste the bacon pretty well, but no, no smokiness. Still pretty good bacon though. So by default, it comes with a uh, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is fine, but uh, sometimes I feel like it's not. Um, I like cheddar a lot. Cheddar's not exactly great on a sub, I think a lot of people think, but uh, I like it. And um, I mean, it depends, of course, what sub you get. But anyway, uh, I went with Swiss this time to be true to uh, what a Club of Spring usually is. I mean, I could have guessed for light mayo, but um, if I know I'm not a huge fan of mayo, then there's no sense uh, getting it with it. Um, sometimes they do uh, toast the bun, because um, a lot of times I get it like white bread. Uh, they didn't ask this time, I'm not sure if it's just because it was wheat bread. Um, I mean, I think they'd still ask to, to lightly toast it, but yeah, so we got a little bit hanging out there. Pretty good flavor, but I prefer the turkey is smoked as well. But I mean, that doesn't, that's not advertised as being smoked. It's just, it is advertised as being antibiotic free, so. Yeah. So, it's got a lot going for it. It really is hard to, um, pick out any weakness in flavor, but it's also kind of hard to pick out any strength in flavor. It's pretty well put together though. And um, yeah, they could use a little bit of vinegar sauce, a little bit more. Um, I feel like usually they do, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. The bread is, uh, is, is nice. It's not great bread, wheat bread, but um, it's pretty nice. So um, I'm gonna pick up another quart of it, a quarter of it, to kind of give you a little, some more interesting shots, hopefully. So um, wait for it to focus. So that's what it looks like. Again, you get the bacon on top there, you get the lettuce and tomatoes and stuff. I'm gonna squeeze it together for you. There you go. So like I said, the other one was not, uh, I mean, it's getting eaten. It's not all that appealing to, to look at. So we went ahead and got another quart for you. Lettuce is fine. We'll try the onion by itself. It's 
stronger taste than I expected that tiny little bit of onion to be, but it's fine. So this part has a lot more uh, tomatoes to it. And uh, that was also the last thing, last little bit I got was a tomato, that strong tomato taste. So. So yeah, um, the Jersey Mike subs definitely are pretty good. Um, I feel like the last few times I went to Subway, unfortunately it's not a comparison video, but the last times I've been to Subway has not been like super pleasing. Um, and I feel like the main reason I would go to uh, Subway or Jersey Mike's is kind of like location. Um, I sometimes price because, um, I mean, the Subway $5 subs no longer exists, right? $5 foot long. Um, but yeah. Jersey Mike's is definitely, I think, still a bit more expensive. Um, I don't know what Subway costs now. Probably like 9 or $10. Or more. And I bet they they probably get customers joke about that uh, $5 foot long if they can still get that. But probably not. Definitely not. Anyway, uh, you do get a lot of um, food, kind of. For, uh, it's a pretty big sub. Um, again, it is a place kind of like, um, uh, Five Guys, where you have to pay a lot. Um, it's like, you know, $20 kind of the meal. Uh, whereas Taco Bell, you can kind of get away with like, you know, $12 to $15 just fine. For a whole meal. And, and this doesn't even include a side, so. Uh, $20 with taxes, with just a large drink and a sub. Is a bit much, but the sub is also very filling. And um, if you're like me, usually, usually you leave like a little bit uh, to the end here, um, you know, to save for next time. But yeah, it is um, no side or anything. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, finish eating this. So one other thing I'd like to point out or ask is at. Um, it's never going to be able to focus. But they got these weird straws at um, at Five Guys. I don't know if you guys have them at your, wherever you are. Or sorry, not Five Guys. Um, I was thinking about Five Guys still. At um, the uh, Jersey Mike's that I was at, they always have these weird straws. Um, they're like, you know, paper. I'm sure they're recycled or whatever. But it's I'm just not very happy with them. Um, and they're like the only place that does it. Um, not that I'm like addicted to plastic straws or anything, or just, you know, I hate change or anything, but um, it just um, kind of gets like soggy before you finish the drink. And I, I'm someone, I feel like I'm someone who dr uh, um, drinks the stuff pretty fast. Like I, I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of um, soda and whatnot. So I feel like I drink through it pretty fast and still it's getting soggy. Um, before I'm done with it, so let me know if, if uh, that's the case where you are too, and I'll see you in the next one.